Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So I have a lot of things that I wanna catch you up on just in terms of what's going on with Busby Style, but um, this video is already gonna be so long, so I'm gonna save that maybe for Friday or next week um, and just kinda of get right to it. So I went shopping finally with my neighbor Jennifer. If you guys don't remember um, my original video with Jennifer, we talked about her body type, we talked about her lifestyle. I styled her for a specific event. She was going to the Grand Old Opry in Nashville. So anyway, I'll put a link to that video below. So if you missed the first one, you can go back and watch that. So she had expressed to me that she was an hourglass body shape, or we, we talked about that, um, which essentially means she has the, the most coveted body type you could have. It's proportionate in bust and hips, and then her waist nips in quite a bit. Normally with hourglass, your waist nips in eight or more inches, and so you can be a really curvy hourglass, or you can be more of a petite little hourglass, um, but if you have a very definitive waist and proportionate bust and hip measurements, you are an hourglass body type. And so the key with an hourglass body type is usually to highlight the waist at every turn, and where you know, figure hugging, figure flattering, figure skimming things. And so that's great, but Jennifer also has um, an issue where she doesn't feel so comfortable with things hugging her tummy. And I mean, she's in great shape, and but she doesn't feel comfortable wearing like bodycon dresses and things like that. And um, she doesn't have the lifestyle that warrants, you know, pencil skirts and really figure hugger hugging dresses. So she was really looking for basic pieces, basic like mom wardrobe. She wanted like t-shirts that she can wear because she's used to wearing like soccer t-shirts and she wanted more of an elevated t-shirts. She has jeans, but she wanted some flare jeans. She wanted some dresses that she can throw on that aren't so dressy, they're still casual. And again, like fit into her lifestyle. She spends a lot of time in the water and the lake. So we wanted to look at some of, you know, some things that could work for that. So anyway, um, it's important to give you that backstory so you understand what we were looking for and what her specific body shape is. So if you're an hourglass body type and you also have a little bit of extra in the mint section, then this these are all gonna be great options for you. And I'm gonna put links to everything over on the blog. And you know, as always, I put a link to the blog first thing in the description box right below so you can click over there and then everything's gonna be laid out nice and neatly for you on the blog if you're interested in finding out more about what specific items are. So we went to Nordstrom and again, sorry about the Nordstrom fitting room lighting. It's terrible. There's nothing I can do about it. I was joking about it with the Nordstrom salesperson. Um, it just, it is what it is. So <laughs> the, the coloring in the pictures does look pretty yuck. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So the first thing that Jennifer and I looked at were um, some flare jeans. And we found two really great pairs of flare jeans that looked fabulous on her. The first was this pair that had a little bit of fading in the front at the knees. And the fading creates a more casual look with your denim. So um, those are good to have just for everyday riding errands, grocery store, etc. cetera. Um, and you'll notice like the pockets in the back were pretty high, so that's lifting her butt a little bit. And then we put on this really nice little, um, a cap sleeve blouse by Pleone, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this has been one of the top sellers for me in the past from Nordstrom, and it's just one of these great tops, and it comes in both the cap sleeve and in long sleeve and three quarter sleeve. So. The beautiful thing about the cap sleeve, if you do have broad shoulders like Jennifer does, the cap sleeve will soften the shoulders and actually make you look a little bit more narrow. Now, if you've got narrow shoulders, you probably don't wanna do the cap sleeve, but this top is great also if you're big busted because it has that V-neck neckline that's a little bit more elongating and it has that sort of loose fitting tummy area it nips in so it skims and it creates it creates a shape, but then it also has that forgiveness because it's not so tight around the tummy. So she's gonna buy, she bought the black one and then we're gonna stock up, she's gonna, we're gonna stock up, like we're buying it together. <laughs> I feel like we're buying it together. She's gonna buy some other colors too because this top comes in a lot of different colors. Um, the next thing we tried on was this rag and bone 
Same concept, uh, but this one is a true tried and true t-shirt. It just is the softest fabric and both Jennifer and I touched it and we're like, well, you have to have this, it's amazing. Um, it's a little on the pricey side for something this casual, but again, Jennifer's not going to fancy things and she doesn't spend a lot of money on clothes. So if she wants to buy like a higher end, quality everyday shirt, then that's what she's gonna spend her money on, if that makes sense. And then these jeans were so fabulous. I have never seen Joie jeans on anybody, and I was blown away. I thought they looked amazing on her, like amazing. I said, you have to get these right now and take them home and wear them home. She doesn't need them hemmed. Um, they're just, they were just so lovely on her. Uh, we love this little striped sweater by Frame, um, and this, Jennifer spends a lot of time in the lake, she's gonna be there for the 4th of July, so um, it's a very patriotic sweater, and it's very sweet, it's very like nautical and preppy, and it had this really cool detail at the wrist that it's sort of split, like a split V at the wrist. Just a pretty little summer sweater. The next sweater we tried, I am in love with, and it's a sheer crochet sweater, Really pretty, super light, cotton, comfortable, hugs the body, but not too tight. It's just like, it's like the perfect summer sweater. It's like what you want for summer. I put her in this off shoulder top and off shoulder is a little bit challenging if you are busty. Jennifer is pretty busty. So um, I thought it looked really cute on her, but she didn't feel 100% comfortable in it. I don't think the color is fantastic. Um, you know, we tried it both down and then up on her shoulders. She was on the fence on that one, so she didn't get that one. I also put her in these um, distressed jeans. She doesn't have any distressed jeans, so I thought it would just be fun to try them. She really likes them, but I think she just wanted to think about whether or not she was gonna buy them because that's a really um, different purchase for her and a little bit out of her wheelhouse. So, uh, But I think they look amazing on, on her. This blouse by Joie is so pretty on her. I was like, yeah, that's another one that you absolutely have to buy with the lace-up front detailing and the flowy um, silhouette and the beautiful uh, sleeves. It just it just looks so pretty on her. This is a t-shirt that I actually own. It's by Madewell. And if you're a regular watcher, you will remember me talking about this t-shirt in my other Nordstrom try on video. So I put her in the same t-shirt. I bought the t-shirt. My friend Susan bought the t-shirt and it looks great on her. And it's just one of those t-shirts that you kind of can't go wrong with. The shorts were cute, but we both decided that she wasn't gonna get them because of the back flat pockets. And those are great if you have very tiny butt and you wanna build it up, but for those of us that have a little booty, um, you don't necessarily wanna build more of a bum. So um, we skipped those shorts, but they are super cute on her. And then she was also looking for some outfits for church. So I put her in this beautiful DVF top that I just thought was really elegant and lovely. Um, this one again is a little out of her comfort zone, but I think it just looks so feminine and pretty. And then that's with this really um, easy breezy linen skirt that Jennifer really loved. And I think, you know, you could definitely take that top and um, switch it out for something a little more casual like that white t-shirt and um, just make sure you tuck it in if you're hourglass because you wanna, again, create that, that waist, you know, highlight the waist. This dress was so pretty on her. You know, when she saw it in the hanger, she's like, no, that's not gonna look good on me. It looks like it's just so plain and hanging there. I'm like, just wait, just wait. <laughs> Sure enough, it looked it looks awesome on her because she's an hourglass body type and you gotta work with what mama gave you and show off your body. And that's what um, this dress does. It's it's form it's figure hugging, but it doesn't show every single lump and bump, mainly mainly because of the fabric. The fabric was a thick cotton, it had a lot of ruching, it was double layer, and so it while it was figure hugging, it also um, was forgiving and you don't see every little lump and bump, which was nice. And she can throw this on with flat sandals, but then she could also dress it up and wear it with some heels, no problem, a lot of versatility. This dress was so pretty on her in this beautiful like summer coral color. Um, the size that we tried on in the store is a little bit small, so she's gonna size up on that one and she could wear this to church, she could wear it to a wedding, she could wear it to a graduation, she could wear it to a party, she could wear it out to dinner. It has a lot of versatility, add a statement necklace to that and you're done. 
We also love this dress um, as a Ted Baker dress, cap sleeve again, see cap sleeve really works well for her again for the broad shoulders, it softens them and it's fit and flare so it's highlighting her waist and I love that it's fit and flare and it adds some femininity and that color is so beautiful on her and the best part about this dress was the fabric, Jennifer had never tried on neoprene before and was just blown away with how it, you know lovely that fabric is and I said you know if I could live in neoprene I would because it doesn't wrinkle it doesn't show anything it's very forgiving it's just a one it feels soft against your skin it's cool in the hot months you know you think it's gonna be hot but it, it actually always feels cool to the touch it's just a great fabric so um, she really loved that dress we did have some misses along the way like this dress we love the idea of it but the waist was a little bit too low and the armholes were a little bit cut in too far. Um, it just was a little bit off in terms of the cut for her and her body type, so we kind of skipped, skipped that one. We found another really simple little black dress. It's not quite as fitted as the first one, so maybe on a day when she's feeling a little bloated or she just wants a little bit more like of a flowy dress because it's 105 degrees here in Texas, she can throw this on with a statement necklace and some flat sandals or an espadrille and dress it up a little bit more. It was just a really pretty little dress. Very simple but elegant, chic, up to, you know, elevated. We tried on some crop jeans because she loves to wear summer sandals so we thought it would be great to put her in some crop jeans to really highlight those summer sandals so she really enjoyed these crop jeans and then here again is another t-shirt that we just both loved this one's by Truve um, it's a silhouette I've talked to you guys about before and I've mentioned already once in this video but it's it's awesome for almost all women because it does nip in and it's very flattering to your figure but then it also gives you a lot of forgiveness around the tummy area so it's not clinging to everything and if you are busty it's not like hello boobs you know out front and center it's just it just skims over the body so it really looks great on everybody so we ended up going with these crop jeans. They are by Frame Denim. They have the undone hem. So I explained to Jennifer how that's kind of a new and modern touch in terms of your denim. She really loved the fit because they're higher rise. She has a problem when she wears lower rise jeans that they tend to fall down and she feels like she's hiking them up all day. So the higher rise jean will really stay in place. She loved again the cropped features so she can show off her summer sandals and then the pockets were high in the back to lift up her bum. And lastly, we tried on this cute little dress by Madewell. It's just really simple, easy breezy cotton dress. It's gonna breathe well when it's a thousand degrees here in the summer. And again, it has the cap sleeve to soften her shoulder. It doesn't necessarily highlight the waist, but it definitely skims the body. So she still looks fabulous in it. And the neckline is great for busty women because it really comes down to that V and being very elongating um, and minimizing that larger bust. So. That is my shopping trip with Jennifer. It was an epic one. We were there for three hours. It was a long shopping session, but I think we really found her some great basic pieces. I think we found her some really chic casual pieces that will fit perfectly in with her lifestyle. And I think the pieces are also very figure flattering and really are tailored for her body type. And I, I hope she's happy. I think she's happy. Um, she seemed happy. <laughs> She'll let me know. Um, but anyway, again, I'm going to put the link to the blog right below in the description box and then you can pop over to the blog and see all of the pics that Jennifer and I made um, if you're interested in, in seeing more about those. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I know most of you have but if you haven't don't, don't forget to click the red button. And also on Instagram I do post a lot of different things on Instagram that are on the blog so don't forget to follow me there at Busby Style. I've been snapchatting if you want to follow me there Busby Style. Again it's at Busby Style. And and what else is there? Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this try on video featuring the gorgeous and so sweet Jennifer, my neighbor. Um, let me know if you have any questions at all and please tell me if there's anything else you'd like to see coming up and I will see you next time. Bye.